Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 20 June, day after the FOMC. Uh, we had some action overnight, notably in gold uh, and dollar CAD. Gold shot up to close to uh, 1400 there, as we all know by now. Here's the futures trading at 1383. Futures traded up to 1397. Cash traded up to 1393. Just more dovish dollar stuff um, after a unequivocally dovish FOMC. The BOJ also joined the uh, sort of dovish party and they're just sort of staying unchanged dovish. So how are we going to attack this thing today? Uh, a couple things on my mind, important levels to note. Dollar yen number one, uh, as the New Yorkers told you. This 50 level is incredibly important. The day after the flash crash, 107.51 the low. Today, 55. Prices below 50 um, will uh, possibly yield some stops and some uh, some accelerated prices downward. You don't want to be core short in front of this because it doesn't really feel right, right? Uh, we have equities shooting higher, half a percent higher, 29.43. Um, even though we're, the dollar is sort of dovish, it just feels quite muted here. And there's a better horse than yen to trade against the dollar. Uh, so let's go to that horse right now, dollar CAD. We talked about trading long on the, on in Aussie, and we are core long Aussie, but dollar cad has been the real horse really clean clean through the 200 hour at 37 on the announcement fucked around at 133 then clean again through 85 now we're printing a low down here which is going to match this low um, for sort of there right now 132 38 the low has been 34 we can perhaps expect some uh, consolidation here um, but if you want to be short dollars, short against Canada, which printed a higher CPI yesterday and has had a series of positive economic uh, releases, this is your safe haven against the world of uh, insanity. Uh, our our Canadian pals from the north. Uh, so today, if you're if you get a chance between 55 and 85 as a sell, if you can get some sort of core short positioning, do it. It's come a long way pretty quickly now. So 134, uh, 35, just two days ago, 200 points lower. But you know, we have some, we have some added news with FOMC dovishness that can drive this. So I wouldn't chase it here. Uh, be patient. See if you can, you can bang some out um, a little bit higher. The other thing on my mind is uh, sterling. Boe today and retail sales today. Uh, this could pop right if uh, Boe is neutral, uh, which they easily could be. You know, this whole Brexit thing is just kind of kicked to the side. Boris is going to be the guy, whether he does new elections or you know, yada, 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 I don't know what the hell is going on there, but the price on the chart here says north. If they're neutral while everyone else is moving dovish, this thing could pop. My horse is Euro Sterling. We've been talking about core short this since the Sintra, um, Sintra announcement. Core short is still the way. We've got a cliff's edge here at 88.70, so there's no reason this can't break. Core short euro sterling looks good. Careful at 10:30 for uh, retail sales. That's usually quite dicey, right? Very unpredictable. That guy. They're expecting minus 0 0.5. Uh, you could easily see that coming in at zero or some positive number, just because that it's impossible to gauge retail sales historically. Those of us who have watched this for three decades know this. Um, but there will be volatility at 10.30, and there will be more vol at 1 p.m. with the BOE. Um, so, but chart, 
and logic kind of both dictate that this might continue now. Um, 8870, the key key moment in Euro sterling. Uh, let's look at dollar EM, which is going to be a darling now. Uh, global growth at three. The whole world is lowering rates. Uh, this is good for for emerging markets. So the 200 day is 1424. Do not buy this uh, in front of this. 200 day which would be a normal um, sort of operating procedure this will continue lower dollar rand the market is short rand because their country is is basically totally fucked uh, their economy is fucked their leadership is is looks relatively corrupt still uh, although I'm no expert um, I got tired of following the politics in South Africa it is just like following a car crash sometimes it's just sort of boring um, but um, the market is short Rand and they're gonna get caught here so there'll be stops below 1424 but more importantly there'll be stops below um, 1413 we've already broken this trend line here and so the death knock will also be important um, you can sell dollar EM, so you can resell this up at 44 today if you get a chance. I doubt I doubt that's going to happen. Anyway, um, so what are we looking at? Uh, looking at Euro Sterling shorts today, uh, we're watching this level uh, specifically in dollar yen, 107.50 although we're skeptical of it. So how do you trade a level you're skeptical? You break trade it. Uh, you leave a very tight stop. You're looking for acceleration. You're looking for a story at the time of execution. It's a very, it's a very particular way to trade. Uh, we're obviously super familiar with it because that's my background. Uh, and in this situation, it, this type of trading definitely applies. You don't need to be core. Uh, you just wait and you actually want to sell low ones um, and you're looking for acceleration at the moment you hit the price and if it doesn't happen you just cut your wrist down and, and you move on because intuition is telling us no chart is telling us yes it's definitely not push your chips into the middle of the table time in dollar yen just because we're risk on right I mean look at stocks um, they kind of that speaks for itself. Aussie longs, uh, we're going to stick with this, hoping that uh, there will be some stops above 69.10. Uh, we're a little bit remiss that we're not short dollar CAD, but such is life. You can be short Euro Aussie still. Uh, we don't think it's this is too powerful of a bar here, and so we should could get some consolidation today. But short Euro Aussie looks okay. Uh, or just long straight Aussie from yesterday, you know it's it's 20 points higher, big deal. Um, you know it's like kind of a, a horse with a limp uh, compared to dollar cad, which is more of a thoroughbred. Uh, but you can tactically trade this and see what happens there. All right, I said enough. Uh, Sterling is in the crosshairs today. We're watching this dollar yen uh, price action. We might try and pick up some gold between 1364 and 1350, uh, but we feel like the train has left the station on there, and we'll be looking to sell dollar CAD on high ones today. I wish you all the best of luck. Make some dough. Uh, prove prove everyone wrong. Good luck today, people. Talk to you tomorrow.